Rentero is a clueless virgin teenager who had zero riz and couldn't even talk to a girl without glitching like a bad DVD. When he finally summoned the courage to ask his crush out, he got brutally rejected just like the 99 times he tried in the past. However, things would soon change in high school that would somehow make ugly-ass Rentero a cheat magnet who even got married to several women to make up for his past rejection. It all began when Rentero summoned the courage to confess his feelings and ask out his longtime crush. She told him she liked him yes, yes, yes! as one of her fans, No, no, no! but couldn't date him because the thought of dating a loser like him made her want to puke and die. This rejection sank Rento deep into depression that he wished he just died. While this friend walked him home, he cheered Rentero up and also made fun of him, as this was the 100th time he got rejected. He thought the Guinness World Record needed to interview him, but Rentero just stood there sobbing like an old lady who lost her purse, as he remembered the first time he got rejected by a girl. Poor guy just wanted to know how it felt to have a girlfriend. His friend was confused as to why Rentero always got rejected, even when he had all the qualities of every girl's dream guy. His friend bid him farewell and wished him not so good luck in his love life in high school, which was probably going to be another tragedy. Later that day, Rentero went to a shrine to pray to the god of love desperately to give him a girlfriend even though he had zero redeeming qualities. He prays to God to help him live a life of joy and love when he gets to high school. Just then, he suddenly heard a strange voice that told him to worry not, as an old muscular head appeared from the donation box and said he was the great god of love. Rentero is startled and wonders why the god of love was an ugly old man who is scaring him to death with just his looks instead of a beautiful goddess, or at least a pretty boy like Justin Bieber. The god told Rentero he would meet his soulmate in high school and would have a joyful life. On hearing this, Rentero was so overwhelmed with the thought of actually meeting his soulmate in high school. The god then said he would meet a total of 100 soulmates, which was totally absurd and unbelievable, which made Rentero call the all-powerful love god a fraud and promise to burn down the shrine if it was a trick. One month later, Rentero got to high school, and little did he know that his 100 soulmate charm was about to begin. While Rentero was walking down the hallway, he accidentally bumped into two girls named Inda and Heka Ri. When he locked eyes with the girls, they both had a soulmate sensation and Rentero wondered if they were the soulmates the god talked about. As Rentero tries to help them up, Heka Ri pretends to have sprained her ankle and asks Rentero to carry her to the nurse's office. This made Rentero sob like a baby for unintentionally hurting a pretty girl. While he tries to pick Hakari, Inda gets jealous and also pretends to have sprained her ankle. Blockheaded Rentero starts punching himself as punishment for hurting Inda and Hakari, and this made the girls stand up to stop Rentero from destroying the little brain cells he had left, forgetting that they were supposed to be injured. Just as Rentero noticed them, they both fell back down and continued their terrible acting. As a simp, Rentero still helps the girls up to take them to the nurse's office but it seems as though Rentero is the one being carried instead. On their way, the girls begin to fight for a space to cling to Rentero. He soon realizes this and is overwhelmed that two girls are clinging onto him so tightly that he almost pisses his pants. As they walk to the nurse's office, the girls and Rentero realized they were in the same class. Inda and Hakari overheard two students talking about a four-leaf clover that had the ability to give even girls unlimited rise, which they could use to ask any guy out. This made them run out, leaving Rentero behind to search for the four-leaf clover. A few hours later after lectures ended, Rentero was walking home and stumbled on Inda and Heko Ri on the pink field and was shocked they had been looking for the four-leaf clover since they ran out. Rentero saw this and approached them with some drinks. He offered a drink to Inda but she was too shy to take it from him, so as not to blow her cover as she already liked Rentero. They both bickered at each other like two lovebirds and Inda took the drink and ran off because she was shy. Shortly after, Ikari came and Rentero offered her a can of drink, but she had something else in mind. She wanted to share an indirect kiss with Rentero, so she told him she couldn't finish a full can of drink and asked if Rentero could drink half of it for her. Clueless Rentero didn't know what was going on, so he brought a smaller can for her. Hikari insisted she couldn't finish a small can, so Rentero decided to gulp it. Hikari's plan was about to succeed until she became overwhelmed with excitement and spilled the whole drink away. 
and could only watch heartbroken while her chance for an indirect kiss flew away. Rentero offered her a handkerchief to clean herself up, but instead, she romantically held Rentero's hand and asked him out while stating that she felt she was not the only one who felt that way about it. Rentero is in shock because this is the first time his sorry a** is being asked out by a girl. He starts sobbing like a grade schooler, and as they are about to get all close and cozy, Enda who was always in denial, came in bringing lots of soda to pay Rentero back for his nice gesture. She was jealous and in shock that the boy of her dreams was holding hands with another girl. Inda couldn't hold it in anymore, so she also confessed her love to Rentero. Rentero's lifelong dream was finally coming true as two girls had asked him out in one day. They both asked him to pick one of them, but he couldn't and told them to wait until the following day. Rentero had no choice but to go back to the almighty god of love at the shrine. The god told him he had to pick both of them and that he made a mistake and gave him 100 soulmates instead of one. To make matters worse, he revealed that he had to make all his soulmates happy or else he would die a horrible death. Rentero walked home realizing that the almighty god of love is not almighty after all as he had a terrible case of Alzheimer's. Rentero then got a genius idea to reject both of them and date both of them secretly behind their backs. The next day, he met up with both girls looking rather unkept. They were shocked as to why Rentero was looking tattered. Hikari asked him if he had chosen yet, but Rentero had such a big heart that couldn't lie to them. He told them the truth that he wanted both of them to be his girlfriend, and made a big speech about how he loved both of them, and would make them the happiest girls alive. Rentero brought out two four-leaf clovers, knowing they had been searching for it. Inda mocked him for believing in such a fairy tale, but Hakari reminded her that they once believed it and looked for it too. Inda blatantly refused to be a two-timer, basically because she wanted Rentoro all to herself. Rentoro pulled a brief romantic speech on how he wanted to hand the flowers over to them as he gave them his answer. The girls couldn't handle the sweet gesture and in the end, Hikari was the first unfortunate soul that agreed to be his girlfriend. This made Inda so jealous that she also agreed to become Rentoro's girlfriend, while Rentero promised to make them the happiest girls alive forgetting that he had 98 more soulmates to make happy also. Rentero was so happy that he didn't even realize when he started talking to a pole about his new relationship status. The girls walk in and catch Rentero talking to the pole. Rentero didn't want them to think he was a fisco, so he distracted them by explaining how happy he was to finally have a girlfriend. Inda realized he wasn't loved at home, so she romantically told him she was always ready to listen to him. However, she still shied away like she always does, which made Hakari grab Rentero's hand and drew closer to him. Inda became jealous, but Rentero took her hand also, and they walked to school like three lovebirds, singing each other's name. They got into the school and saw the infamously strict vice principal chasing a student which made them pause for a while. Hakari had a thought and asked Rentero if he had ever kissed anyone before. Obviously, Rentero only had experience with 2D girls and Inda and Hakari were his first ever girlfriends. Inda and Hakari then got into a battle to choose who would get to be Rentero's first kiss, leaving him to wonder how he became a Rita's god overnight. It was lunch break and Rentero and his two girlfriends sat on the rooftop alone. Hikari saw the opportunity to offer Rentero the food she made, which Rentero took a bite from and absolutely loved so much that he burst into tears. Inda got jealous as always and brought out some cookies she baked. Rentero opened up his mouth to receive them, but Inda stuffed it in one of his eyes because she was embarrassed. When he eventually had a taste of the cookie, he realized what it meant to be blinded by love in the literal sense. All these shenanigans were a plot to try and get Rentero's first kiss. Hikari had a good game plan to get a kiss from Rentero, but while she almost had it, Inda stepped in and stopped her by also blinding Rentero's other eyes with more of her love. It soon turned into an intense battle that made them fight for who would be the first to get a kiss from Rentero. When the issues escalated so much that Heka Re gave Inda some melon blows, clueless Rentero finally realized what was going on and told them that they could have simply asked for a kiss instead. Even after his speech, the girls kept on fighting even though his breath might smell like garlic. Meanwhile, Rentero being a genius Einstein psycho, when it came to safeguarding his harem, already cooked up a plan for the situation. Rentero then made a big confusing speech about his plan to kiss both of them and claimed it was going to be a random situation. He got them all blindfolded and commenced the plan by approaching Hakari, 
although he didn't know it was her. When he gets closer to her, he mistakenly grabs her plot, but Hakari doesn't mind and wants him to remove the plot armor. This made them start the plan all over again, but this time, Rentero ended up approaching Inda. Meanwhile, the wind blows and Inda's plot is flashed. A cultured stray cat on the rooftop sees her plot and jumps toward it as Rentero walks toward her. The cat plays some drums with her plot, but she thinks it's Rentero's doing. This made Inda kick him furiously, before jumping on him, as she started giving him terrible punches in the face. She called him a shameless jerk and a degenerate lowlife, and after satisfying her rage, she finally calmed down. Rentero had to start the plan all over again and paid no regard to his pain because it was a hurdle he had to overcome. However, after many tries, the plan failed over and over again, and they were all tired out and wondered why kissing was so hard. Once again, the girls began to bicker as they lay claim to poor Rentero, who didn't know how to feel at this point. Rentero stops them mid-argument and takes all the blame upon himself. He claimed it was because he was a useless, inexperienced boyfriend, with no game who hadn't had his first kiss and ran away. Rentero called out the vice principal's name, who attacked anybody she saw running in the hallway, and French kissed them as a punishment. Before the vice principal could kiss Rentero, Inda, and Hakari came to his rescue. They asked Rentero why he ran off like that, so he told them he loved them so much and he wanted them to get along. This got Inda and Hakari so emotional that they both reluctantly agreed that any of them could have the first kiss. It was a blow-up of emotions as Rentero hugged both his girlfriends who had finally decided to let his harem bloom. Rentero then came up with another master plan where all three of them should share a kiss at the same time, in other words, a kiss song. Although it sounded stupid, they eventually pulled it off and probably summoned a UFO with their weird ritual they call the kiss. The next day at school, Rentero and his girlfriends were in the library where Inda and Haka Ri were trying to impress Rentero by getting a cookbook so they could cook different kinds of meals for him. Rentero decides to browse the bookshelf himself until he finds a book he likes. As he was about to pick it up from the bookshelf, he bumped into the hand of a girl trying to pick up the same book, causing a Netflix romance moment. When they locked eyes, <laughs> Rentero had the same soulmate sensation again, and he wondered if this mystery girl was also his soulmate. The whole mysterious encounter troupe got her so flustered as she was a shy girl. She wanted to run off after seeing Rotoro, but he urged her to stay and take the book instead. Using the book in her hands, she drew his attention to something written on the page she had opened. When he reads it, he realizes she is trying to tell him she is the librarian, and also notices her armband. She kept communicating with the book, which made him think she was a freaking psycho, however, he soon realized he wasn't supposed to be talking in the library. She asked Rentero what he wanted, and what he was looking for while promising to assist him however she could. Clueless Rentero started making sign languages, pointing out that he wanted a novel. This made her ask why he was acting like a mute, but this only made him pissed as she was the one who started the entire thing. Thinking that Rentoro didn't want her help, the girl runs off but Rentoro stops her with a hand on her shoulders. He felt sorry for making her uncomfortable and asked her politely for help. Moving on, Rentoro wanted to know if she has any recommendations on romance novels, specifically the type where the characters overcome all the hurdles unlike Romeo and Juliet, as that was his favorite genre as you'd imagine. This made her excited, and she started running around in search of Rentero's specifications. Rentero wonders how a tiny lowly can function as a library, and is impressed she was doing her job brilliantly. She brings a bunch of pile-up books according to his specifications but somehow overdid it. Rentero freaked out on seeing the mountain of books before him, so she apologizes for scaring Rentero and tells him to take what he needs while she returns the others. However, Rentero was touched by her devotion which made him want to read all the books because she tried so hard to help him. When he got to check them out, he found out he would have to wait a week to be given a library card. On seeing how disappointed he was, he handed him the book she used for communication which he gladly accepted. He finally asked her for her name, so she pulled out her ID card where he found out her name was Shizuka and they were in the same class. Rentoro also introduces himself after which he bids her farewell. Meanwhile, Rentero's girlfriends were still trying to get a recipe book to impress Rentero. When he saw them working hard, he was so touched that his girlfriends were extra motivated because they had realized the stomach was really the fastest way to a guy's heart. Later in the evening at his place, he picks up the book given to him by Shizuka. 
This was a book with love stories called Circlet Love Story. Rentero began reading the first story, which was about a princess and her knight, who fell in love with each other. But the knight couldn't marry the princess because he was a broke ass counter who would never be accepted by the royal family. Instead, she has to marry from a noble family. The knight was strong, and they both went on dangerous quests, putting their lives on the line. This story made Renturo sob like a crybaby as he always does, making us realize why he has been single all along. Renturo realizes the story continues in Volume 2 but at least, he learned something important, which was that he had to fight for love. The following day Renturo went straight to Shizuka's table looking all excited as he enjoyed the book. This startled Shizuka and made her blush red. Before Renturo can say anything else, she offers him volume two like a zombie who has been possessed with love. Renturo thanks her and thinks of a way to repay her. While his two girlfriends bicker as usual, Renturo sneaks Shizuka out of the class to a vending machine and offers her a can of drink. They both went outside to have their drinks as Renturo couldn't stop talking about the story he read last night. This made Shizuka smile and also said the book was her holy grail. Renturo wondered how Shizuka could talk using a storybook because it had to be extremely difficult to flip to the right page. He surmised that she had to read the book over and over again to get used to it, which made her explain that she never had friends and had only books to keep her company. She also thanks him for talking freely with her, even though she is a weirdo, and this made him ask to borrow the first volume again. Back at the library, she even does her duties more extra than usual, which made the librarian ask her why she was so pumped. Later on, she spotted the book that brought her and Renturo together on the shelf. This made her remember the moment they met, so she tried to get the book from the shelf. Three passed and Shizuka hadn't seen Renturo again, and this made her gloomy. While walking down the hallway, she sees Renturo and his girlfriends sitting outside in the garden. Shizuka spies on him and watches Hikari kiss him. Renturo shamelessly thanks her for kissing him, while Inda begs him to share some feminine energy with him only to headbutt him. She is disappointed that Renturo already has a girlfriend. She recalled how she was treated like an outcast by her peers and called a freak with no social skills because she talked using a notebook. Even her mother rejected her because she was giving her the creeps. She then concluded that nobody would have time to talk to a freak like her, and he eventually went back to her usual soaping librarian world. Suddenly, she sees Renturo walk in and brighten up her day. Renturo wanted to thank her for lending him her books. So he asked if she had a smartphone and installed a text-to-speech app that would help her say what she wanted. Renturo did that by typing volume one of Circlet Love Story into it. When she realized he manually typed the entire novel in three days, she concluded she was going to marry him, which might just be his strategy from the beginning. Renturo asked her to try the new app he installed for her by picking a word to say but instead, she confessed her love to him. Renturo grabbed her and also confessed, telling her he loved her too. The two delusional lovebirds thought they were characters from the novel and drowned themselves in fantasy land. Afterward, Renturo goes to ask permission from Inda Mihakuri to let him take Shizuka as his newest girlfriend, but Inda loses it and asks him if his brain had gotten rotten after she headbutted him. Hikari thought it was touching that he had such a wide heart to accommodate the three of them at once, and this made him affirm to them that his feelings haven't shifted from them to Shizuka. Renturo tells them that meeting Shizuka has opened a reserve of love, and he now has enough for the three of them. Renturo promises to cherish each of them equally, and if he doesn't, he'll atone for it by committing seppuku. Renturo convinced them to agree to let Shizuka join their harem with his not-so-wise words, while insult brain Hakari fanned the flame of his playboy Riz by calling him a real man. Afterward, Renturo formally introduced Shizuka as his new girlfriend, and she was pleased to be part of the winning team. As they get to know each other, Rentero shows how well he knows his girlfriends by telling them their habits, even the ones they never thought anyone noticed. This makes them both shocked and embarrassed and impressed by his devotion towards them. When Rentero talks about kissing, Shizuka loses her composure as she thought the relationship was PG-9. While Inda and Hakari took turns feeding Rentero with the food they prepared specially for him, they soon began to fight and argue because both wanted Rentero to accompany them home. Renturo couldn't help but notice Shizuka was quiet and felt left out of the couple's fun time. He suspected she was still shy since she wasn't yet familiar with Inda and Hekka Rai. 
This made him prepare to carry her along, so he suggested they play a game called Old Maid. Renturo added a penalty that whoever loses gets tickled by the winner, because he had this crazy idea. That laughter brings out a person's true character. He tagged his plan operation, everyone tickles each other, so we become friendly. The girls couldn't help but think of how pleasurable it would be to get tickled by Rentero. The first round of the game begins and the loser is Inda. Inda could not hide the fact that she wanted Rentero to tickle her so badly. She even laid down as though Rentero wanted to develop plot with her. The second round ended and the winner was also Rentero, while the loser was Heka Ray. She jumped for joy and popped her melons which got Inda angry as she was flatter than a surfboard. Rentero started tickling Hekari, which made her so excited that her floodgates almost opened. Rentero was having a field day as he also won the third round, but this time the loser was all quite Shizuka. Rentero's plan was finally coming together, causing him to fantasize about how Shizuka's laugh would sound as he approached her for a tickle. He starts tickling her and expects a pretty laugh from her mouth, but surprisingly Shizuka gives a big laugh from her text-to-speech app. This surprised Rentero, but he enjoyed watching her face as he tickled her. Rentero kept tickling Shizuka, while the girls tried hard to ignore the weird situation. Meanwhile, India and Hakauri soon realized Rentero had not lost a round. They both tried their best to win the next round, so they could also feel Rentero's body. Rentero eventually lost the fourth round, but the winner turned out to be Shizuka. Inda and Hakauri were pissed that fate didn't smile on them. Shizuka went to Rentero, and gave the weakest tickle in the history of tickling. But Rentero kept laughing and said it tickled him more than he actually expected. Hikari couldn't help but wonder why Rentero was attracted to such a timid girl as Shizuka. She then assumed he probably had a lolicon fetish, which made her fear for his future. After the entire tickle fest, Rentero walks away but shortly trouble sparks as Inda confronts Shizuka. And it asks her what her plan is and why she is the only one keeping her distance from Rentero. She wanted to know why she didn't touch Rentero all over when she had the chance, but Shizuka replied by saying that Inda and Hakari were Rentero's first lovers and she didn't want to be in their way. Inda tells her she is now also Rentero's girlfriend, so she shouldn't hesitate to do or say whatever she wants. This made Shizuka apologize earnestly, but Inda was pissed that she didn't fight back and tried to strangle her. Shizuka then speaks from her heart and tells them that she is afraid because they have better feminine qualities than her and she doesn't feel up to their standard. Inda and Hakari are struck by her words, so they apologize to her for Inda's harsh and insensitive words. While they discussed and bonded, Rentero secretly spied on them with a smug look of satisfaction on his face. Rentero knew this was going to happen, that was why he left for a bathroom break. He did that so they could talk out their feelings and get along with each other without any distraction which was none other than him. He becomes teary as always because his girlfriends are finally getting along. When Rentero walks back in, he pretends not to know what happened. Inda rushes to him and demands they redo the last loser's penalty. She said that Shizuka had to tickle him properly as her weak poking didn't count. Shizuka realizes the effort Inda was putting in was to help, which made her determined not to waste Inda's effort and asks for a kiss from Rentero instead. Rentero becomes emotional on realizing Shizuka wants to share a kiss with him. He reaches for her and taps her on the head because she looks cute. He drew her close and they shared a lovely kiss. Hikari saw this as an opportunity to ask for a kiss also and Rentero kissed her as she asked. Rentero turned to Inda asking her if she wanted a kiss, but Inda was that Sundar of the group as always. She told him she was not interested as she drew closer to Rentero. Rentero hugged her and said that even surfboards deserve love. Inda could not handle such sweet words as she flustered and started pounding on Rentero's chest like a punching bag. She suddenly stopped as Rentero told her he would love to kiss her. He asked if she wanted to kiss him, but Inda couldn't help but confess she also wanted to because the situation was making her cringe. Eventually, they both shared a kiss that will forever be framed in Inda's memory. Rentero thanked his girlfriends for being so amazing and explained how lucky he was to have them as his girlfriends. While they laughed together, Rentero recalled that he still had 97 more mystery girls to meet. Will Rentero be able to simultaneously date a hundred obsessed girls in high school? Well, our guy Solomon had 700 wives, so it's not impossible. Comment 100 if you want to find out how far Rentero can push his luck by creating a hundred-girl harem in high school. See you guys in the next video.